is just coming out of Ankit on the corner hitting the uh, main road, the new 7 Eleven. Going up to the market now. This is Pom Poms, the place I've done a food review on back in January. Some good food in there. Motorbike repair place here. If you hire one and get a puncher. Barber shop, want a haircut? New coffee shops just opened up. This is in John TM. So many changes since uh, last year. Places are closing down. All the rundown places are being refurbished and they're making a good job of some of them. This was here last year. Barbecue, side of the road. Yeah. Washing machine there, 20 baht, open 24 hours. Get your washing done, there's lawns through places everywhere. Just coming into the market now. Let's have a look, see what's around here. This is opposite the uh, Tesco Lotus Express. Last year they did uh, a lot of seafood here. Let's see what's on here now. Oh, All these pawns here, look at the size of them. They large. <laughs> yeah. That one's trying to get out. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Let's have a look over here. Fish. Crab. These are uh, prawns here, 200 baht. Is that for a kilo? There's 200 baht for a kilo. Fresh prawns. Got my helper here today, sorting out the good ones from the bad ones. I haven't got a clue. Hello. 
Thank you. So it worked out 150 baht then. Is that a kilo? No, not a kilo. That's not a kilo, but it was a big bag. And it works out 150 baht. Yeah. That's how many pawns you get for 150 baht. Amazing. Fresh. You won't get as many as that in England, not like that, for that sort of money. Around about four quid. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. That does look pretty amazing. All this seafood fresh and this is just around the corner from Biancet Hotel opposite the Tesco Lotus so if you're in John TM and you want some uh, fresh food and you love seafood like I love just look at this you are spoiled for choice these little crabs Ooh, yeah. amazing all this chicken More fish. Oh, mussel. Mussel? Mussel? Yeah. Look at all these pawns. They got everything here. It's a bit dark in here so I've had to turn the light up to compensate for it on the camera so uh, bear with me it's a little bit dark mm. eggs the pink eggs is duck the white eggs is duck and that's chicken oh bigger egg yeah ah so there you go if you see these eggs out here the pink and white, basically, so I've just been told, are duck, and the brown ones are chicken. There you go. I learned something today. I'm not an expert on my eggs, so there you go. When you see these out here, you know what we are now. Seem to be quite cheap. You know, in a bag of eggs there, as you can see, 40 baht on there. About 43 baht to the pound. That's a quid for a bag of eggs. So it's not bad. Yeah, so just bought some lettuce there, tomatoes, swing onions for 40 baht. That's a big bag of tomatoes. Very good. Pineapples here. Look at those. 20 baht. Nice. Bananas. Yeah, 10 baht those bananas. Tomorrow I'm going to Kolan, which is known as Monkey Beach. So you want to save a few quid, buy your bananas before you go over there for the monkeys. I've been told the uh, bananas are a lot more expensive. So we'll do a comparison tomorrow, as you can see. Bananas here, 10 baht, which is 19 pence and we'll see what we are tomorrow when we go over to Kolan on the boat and see how much they charge for the bananas. So maybe a little tip there for you. If you're thinking of going to Kolan, I'm gonna feed the monkeys. How to save a few back. Tiny little bananas, but ideal for the monkeys. Yeah. Uh, for monkey. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've got somebody with me today who's carrying my bags for me. 
while I do the filming. It's nice to have an assistant. So I can bring you some good footage. It's hard to do both, buy fruit and veg and film at the same time. So it leaves my hands free now with the camera. To have a good look around, see what else there is. Smoothies, drinks, chicken. All that chicken there. Oh. All your spices. Cook food, two pork. Just gonna have a couple of these. Yeah. We're ten bat each. Yeah. This is just a little look around on the market here. In John's gym. It's only a very tiny one. Can't wait for the new one to open up. I think that's going to be pretty impressive by the looks of the size of it. But this is a little indoor market where the other one they're building at the moment is an outdoor market. Pears here, one kilo, 60 baht, quid and a half for a kilo of pears. They look massive. I haven't seen round pears before. I have now. Oh, you have, yeah. Okay. As you can see, the prices of stuff here, very, very cheap. Well, that's a little look around John Tian Market. Latest update on the market since last year. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out. If you click on the black bell when you get free notifications direct to your phone. This is Thailand Rick saying bye for now. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.